Hi guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk about yield farming using stablecoins. Yes, because it is probably what all of us are looking for, because yes, right now we are having this small rally, but in my opinion, it's just a rally. It doesn't change the fact that we are in a bear market and it is much better to stay safe instead of being too exposed, overexposed to the volatility of the different assets. Yes, because right now we are going up, but nothing is for granted that with any probability sooner or later we will have another correction. I don't know if the bottom is already in or not. That's something that only the time will tell us. What I can tell you is that right now I rather prefer to stay safe and that's the reason why I'm looking for different stable pools where I can earn yield just with a low risk. And one of them is also offering you more than 100% of APY. And I will explain to you exactly how it works, what are the pros and what are the counts. So stay tuned. Just let me say, guys, that this channel is not about financial advice, but it's just about educational content. So if you want to invest in anything, that's perfectly fine, but be aware of the risk and do always your own research before. And don't forget to check all our links into the uh, description below where you can find our Twitter account, our weekly newsletter, and different kind of ways that you have to support us. And guys, don't forget also to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment. That's the simplest way to support us and to bring new uh, energy to our channel. But let's start immediately, guys. When it comes to yield farming and looking for stable coins, what we have as a first problem is how to find the right stable pool. I want to just share the two tools that I'm using right now that are Nanoly. Previously, it was named Coindex, and the other one is APY Vision. There are several other tools, but if you're just in a rush, what I suggest you use just them. Even if, remember, none of them is covering the whole crypto space. So don't be surprised if in some way you are able to find also other pools. For example, the pool that I was talking about just a moment ago, at the moment, is not tracked into Nanoly. Even if Nanoly is also tracking non-EVM uh, compatible uh, blockchains like uh, Solana, for example, and, uh, and so on. Uh, another thing, remember it's also the newest uh, blockchains, like for example, right now we are having Aptos, uh, and we have just seen that PunkySwap is launching incentives on, on Aptos. So it's possible to see in the newest blockchain also the opportunity to earn even higher yields, and these yields, it wouldn't be into a uh, platforms like uh, Nanoly or APY Vision because both of them are just uh, uh, platforms that are tracking what is more established into the industry. All the others, newcomers, are something that will be implemented but in the second phase. So expect to be able to use them in the future into these platforms, but right now they are not yet available. Anyway, uh, these are the platforms. In this case, uh, APY Vision is giving you a much less uh, uh, coverage, even if uh, uh, you can even find some good opportunities, like in this way, USDC meme on Phantom, even if uh, for solidly pools, uh, the collected trade fees do not go to liquidity providers. And here you can find all the details. This is another thing that is pretty important because it's not just a matter of the APY. It's also a matter of how composed is this APY and what you need to know in order to be able to withdraw it. Uh, on Nanoly, as you can see, there are much more of them. You can simply uh, click on stable coins here and you will be brought into the whole list. DPY here, for example, we have a 70% of DAI, USDT, and so on. Honestly speaking, the one that I prefer right now in Nanoly is this one that is coming from StellaSwap that is offering the uh, base for pool with USDC, USDT, BUSD, and Frax on a uh, StellaSwap that is uh, on Moonbeam and it is offering an annualized 30%, so quite a decent uh, level. Remember that the rewards are paid using the token of the platform Stella and on the other side, the token of uh, uh, the blockchain Moonbeam. So be aware that obviously in the moment when you are receiving these rewards, if the price is volatile, the real APY, APR that you are receiving could be 
different. So that's something that you should be aware. That's something that could be higher or most of the cases, unfortunately, even lower. But let's go on because there is another opportunity that I wanted to share and it's coming from Camino Finance. That's a protocol that we have already talked about a couple of weeks ago. If you missed that video, we'll leave also the link into the right corner here. And what is interesting is that they are offering, like we have seen on Popsicle Finance and other protocols that are trying to manage your concentrated liquidity, in order to give you the maximum yield that is coming from your LP, so the liquid that you have provided into a specific protocol. Right now, Camino Finance is managing LPs, so concentrated liquidity like Popsicle, but on Solana. The kind of platforms that is able to integrate right now is a, a Orca, but in the future it can support also other protocols. But the reason why it is interesting is, as you can see, you have just to click on the pool that you prefer, just add the single asset you want, and the platform will do the rest. It means that we'll bring your assets, depositing them into Orca in this case, and just giving you DPY that will be auto compounded into the uh, strategy. And the reason why I was telling you that this protocol right now is offering probably the best opportunities available into the market is due to this pool here. USDR, USDC, as you can see, is offering an insane 514% of APY. But how it is paid, this APY? Well, it's coming from one side for the optimized fee, on the other side from incentive. Just to give you an idea, also, if right now it is around 500%, check out here this number down current deposit against max capacity. This number is giving you an idea of how much liquidity can be still added into this pool. What it means, simply, that the APY can still go down by around 5x. So at the end of the story, it's possible that for a couple of days at least, we will have an APY that is around 100% how this APY can change according to the price of the tokens that are used to reward this platform. Just to have a better understanding, what is USDR? Because in the moment when I saw this pool, I said, okay, that's cool. But USDR is for real a token, a stable coin that is real stable, because that's the main challenge. Right now we are having so many different stable coins that it is becoming difficult to understand which of them is really something stable. Because remember guys, if for example, you are yes receiving a lot of rewards, but one of the two assets is not for real stable, well, you are losing money anyway. So that's something that you should always remember guys. It's not a matter to just maximize your APY, but it's much more a matter to find a right balance between the APR and staying safe, specifically into the market condition. It is so volatile, a bear market, anything can happen. There are no 100% safe solution. So for this reason, pay attention to it. Anyway, let's try to understand what is USDR. What you can do is just click here on a pool address. And as you can see, you will be redirected into Orca. And down here, you can find the pool USDR USDC, this is. As you can see, here the APR is just 12%. Everything that is on top of that is coming from the strategy that is available on Camino Finance. USDR, what it is? Well, it is coming from Ratio Finance. Here you can find the different pools. But let's go a step back in order to understand what is for real Ratio Finance. And if we are talking about a safe, a protocol that is just to speculate or something that can have a future. So this is the website. And the first thing that I want to show you is that it looks legit. It means that it is something that other people has done due diligence. As you can see, it is backed by some of the greatest investors into the industry, like Alameda Research, Solana, and everyone that is really working into the Solana ecosystem. So. The first question is, if ratio finance is something that is legit or not, the answer, at least in my opinion, is yes, we had someone that made some uh, due diligence. But what they are offering? 
Well, the reason why I'm sharing with you this uh, protocol is due to this feature here. That's something that has been a while for science since when I started to think that we really need something like a ratio risk into the, uh, our DeFi ecosystem. And finally, we are starting to see protocols that are trying to implement this uh, uh, tool. The implementation is pretty easy right now. What is simply saying is that exactly as Moody's and Fitch are doing for the TradFi market, what they are trying to do is giving you, and you can find it here, risk rating, for example, USDT, USDC is AA, or USDT, USDC here is AAA, so AAA. If you're wondering, well, why the same assets are in one case just double A, in another one could be triple A. With any probability, is due to the fact that Sabre and Radium are two different platforms according to the different metrics of the different protocols. Also, the risk ratio, the risk rating could be different. Obviously, also remember that this rating is just an indicator, something that ratio finance is sharing. It doesn't mean that it's the truth. It doesn't mean that it can predict how the risk ratio of that platform for real will move. It doesn't say anything about the volatility. It's just an indicator to help you better understand what you are using. For example, in this case, you are having a triple B, here a, a single A and so on. So all of these indicators are something that at least in my opinion could really help the whole DeFi space to improve. Because what is really important is helping onboarding users that are becoming available of the risk. Guys, the opportunity is pretty clear to anyone. It's just a matter of looking the APY and we will understand, yes, we can make a lot of money. But on the other side, what is the downside? What are the risks connected to the platforms and the pools that we are using? And this is at least a first step into this direction. So USDA is simply the stablecoin that you can mint in the moment when you are depositing this uh, LP, USDT, USDC, for example, here on Radium, you can come here, deposit the uh, LP and mint it against your USDR. Just to help you understand, this is something close to what we have seen on Abracadabra. You are depositing an interest yield bearing asset and on the other side, you can mint a stablecoin. On Abracadabra, the stablecoin is called MIM. In this case, the stablecoin is USDR. And the reason why the APY that we have seen on Camino is so high is because right now, Ratio Finance is incentivizing a lot their pools. And that's the reason why you can see on other protocols a so high APY. It is a platform that will succeed or not, it's still too uh, early to say, but anyway, that's something that I will uh, keep looking for because uh, this kind of innovation, that's something that I like. Going back to our uh, pool, what we can say is that USDR is just a young asset, is uh, coming from a good platform, at least a platform that has been through due diligence. They have been also audited uh, two times, as you can see down uh, uh, here. and. Uh, it means that it's secure 100%? Well, not in my opinion, no, in my opinion. I still think that USDA is an asset as a stable coin that is much more risky compared to other stable coins. On the other side, it's also true that this kind of APY is quite interesting, quite high. So if you wanna use it, use it, but be aware of the risk. And uh, most of all, be aware that this APY will change drastically in the next couple of days and weeks. So don't expect to be able to simply deposit your uh, USDC into this pool and be able to retrieve this APY forever, because that's something that will never happen. When we see this API that is so high, usually it is lasting for just a short amount of time. So be aware also on that. Just to give you also another idea, as you can see from CoinGecko, USDR, it is so new that has been listed just today. So again, we are talking about something that is pretty new, young, but on the other side, usually when something is so young, 
that's the moment to take and to receive the best opportunity. So that's all for today, guys. Let me know if you know other pools that are offering some great opportunity or something new that is happening that maybe I missed. And uh, let me know it in the comment section below. Guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment. That's the best way to help us to grow. If you want to support us in any way, you can just check our uh, description below where you can find all the information. Guys, thank you for following me and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.